Praise the Lord, viewers. This is Christ Disciples Church, Uganda. We are very blessed to be with you as we worship the Lord. Prepare your hearts. The Lord is good all the time. Be blessed.
praise and worship team. Thank you for that wonderful uh, praises to the Lord. May you be blessed. You're once again welcome to Christ Disciples Church, Uganda. We are broadcasting live from uh, Boyach, Nawataka. Uh, you're most welcome. Please, if you, it is your first time to join us, Hit that subscribe button so that you wish you'll never miss any upload that we share with you. This is our Monday fellowship. You're most welcome and God bless you. You'll not remain the same. Praise the Lord. Uh, let's take this time and uh, we pray before we hear the word. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, King of Glory, we thank you. Jesus, King of Glory, thank you. Alpha, thank you. Abba Father, thank you. Emmanuel, thank you. King of Kings, thank you. Our doctor, thank you. Our medicine, thank you. The Redeemer, thank you. Our Savior, thank you, Lord Jesus. You are mighty. You are glorious. You are exalted. May you be glorified, King of Kings. Thank you for this hour. Thank you for this fellowship. Thank you for this studio, Lord King of Glory. Thank you for the people, the audience that watch us, Lord, thank you. Bless them. King of kings, we bring the message that we are going to share today to the cross. May you be with us. May you continue to guide us. May you be able to deliver this message to your people according to your will. Lord Almighty, we cover this message with the blood of Jesus, the network with the blood of Jesus, the studios with the blood of Jesus, that your people will hear your word for the glory of your name. We rebuke all principalities that come and interfere with this message. Be bound. Be bound in the lake of fire at the judgment day. Lord Jesus, thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. You are most welcome. This is Christ Disciples Church. Uh, this is our Monday fellowship. God bless you. We are sharing the word and the topic we are looking at today is a confirmation that Jesus Christ is the only Savior that we have. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is the only Savior. There is no other Savior on this earth and in heaven. There is no other Savior apart from Jesus Christ. So, if you have been deceived that there is another Savior, the Bible is very clear. There is only one Savior. There is no other Savior. So we must wake up today and know that the only Savior we have is Jesus Christ. And you must accept to follow him if you want to be saved. If you want to be redeemed from the sins that we commit. If you want to be redeemed from all the suffering, the torment. It's only through Jesus Christ. There is no other savior in this planet, is in this world, in heaven. There is no other savior. We shall go straight to the Bible. And we shall see from Matthew chapter 1, verses 21. This is where the angel that was sent by the Lord came to confirm to Joseph that there is going to be one savior who is going to be born. Hallelujah. There is no other savior. I am hearing other people talking of, is it we, our Messiah? That the Messiah is in Kenya. The Messiah has reached. He's in, is it Weyogerere? He's in Bukasa. There is no Messiah. There is no other savior that has ever come. It's only Jesus Christ. Matthew 1, 21. We confirm and say, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. Hallelujah. It's only Jesus that can save. She will produce a son. The angel was telling Joseph that don't worry. Mary has conceived of the Holy Spirit. And when she delivers, she will deliver a son. And that son, you will name him Jesus Christ. 
who will save the people his people from sin hallelujah the bible says his people meaning this is god himself who came to earth in the form of a human being he agreed to be born as a child grew up the normal procedure till he became big in order to save us from sin he did not say name him as potiphar he did not say you will name him muhammad he did not say that you will name him any other name he said you will name him jesus for he is a savior he will come and save his people from sin hallelujah praise the lord so there is no other name that you can be saved i am hearing names is it buddha buddha cannot save you it's only jesus christ that can save he's the only savior on earth he's the only one who spoke about his life his crucifixion his death and his resurrection and it came to pass others have tried now also the so called men of god the so called messiahs i have also tried this one of recent who died and the followers were saying he's going to resurrect up to today we are waiting he has never resurrected hallelujah praise the lord but jesus clearly said when i die three days i will be in the grave but on that third day i will be resurrected he's living because he was the true messiah he was the true savior that the lord spoke about who came to redeem his people from sin so my brother sister whatever god you are worshiping whatever name you are worshiping whatever image you are worshiping that will never save you because the bible is clear there is only one savior and there is no photocopy of that savior that you can make your own photocopy others have even said they want to pray through some other people to save them from their sins there are those who say mother mary pray for us sinners my friend that you pray speak to your son jesus that he will forgive us it is not that way let's look at matthew 28 matthew 28 verses 5 to 6 says and the angel answered and said unto the woman fear ye fear not ye for i know that you seek jesus which was crucified he is not here for his reason as he said come see the place where i lay hallelujah jesus spoke clearly told the disciples told the congregations that he preached to the gospel that me you are going to crucify me i have come to save the sinners but on the third day i will have resurrected hallelujah that man of god of yours that you are following as the messiah has he resurrected how many has he has saved that idol you are worshiping how many has it saved you are carrying an idol that this is my savior how can that idol save you the bible is clear it is only jesus christ that can save anyone who confesses his sins and accept to follow him hallelujah 
Maybe we can see where he spoke for himself. Says, no one will come to my father except through me. John 14, 6. John 14, 6. Says, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Hallelujah. That nobody can even think of going into heaven. No one can think of inheriting the kingdom unless if you accept to believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Jesus Christ is the Savior. He's the way, the truth, and the life, and no other God. Those only who will accept and follow him are the ones that will be able to see the Father. This is Jesus Christ confirming who he is, that he is the Savior to us, to those who will believe him. To those who will follow his teachings, to those who will follow his instructions, he will be the one to open the doors for you to see the Father. He will be the one to accept you before his Father. Because he says, I am the way, the truth, and life. No other person can see my Father except through me. He's our mediator with God. There is no other media. There are these people who are calling themselves Christ. What? There is only one Christ. There is no other Christ. There is only one Son of God. John 3.16 clearly says he allowed his only begotten Son to come and die for us. His only begotten son. There is no other son. There is no other son. Is it Allah? He is not there. The, 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 is it Muhammad? He's not there. There is only one begotten son. Who died on the cross. And on the third day. Resurrected. He's the only savior. No other savior. Luke 2, Luca, that is Luke chapter 2, verses 11 says, For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. That there is only a Savior who was born to us, and that is Jesus Christ. No other Savior. Muhammad will not save you. Buddha will not save you. Maria will not save you. It's only Jesus Christ who is our savior. The Bible says, on this day, born to you is the savior in the city of David, which shall, which is called Christ, the Lord. Jesus Christ is the Lord. There is no other God. There is no other mediator. There is no other savior. So if you have been depending on your rosary as the savior, if you have been thinking that idol that you have made, that cow that you worship, that cat that you worship is your savior. He's not. Your father is not your savior. Your mother is not your savior. Your brother will never be your savior. Your sister will never be your savior. It's only Jesus Christ who is your savior. So you must accept and follow what Jesus Christ tells you. 
not what your mother tells you not what your father tells you not what your clan tells you because there are those people who listen to their clan what their clan says is what they go with the clan says we are only worshiping this god that we have manufactured then you also begin following them blindly they say this is what our clan has decided let me tell you you will not be saved by that clan on the day of judgment on the day when the lord comes for his church that clan will not save you that family will not save you that husband will not save you that wife will never save you it's only jesus christ who will save you so wake up and open your eyes know whom you are serving take a decision that i will serve jesus christ that i will worship jesus christ i will obey the instructions of the lord jesus christ who is my savior in times of times of trouble he's the one who will be with you when you are in bondage it's only jesus christ who will come and be with you when you are in pain even your brothers will refuse you when you are in sickness even your relatives will refuse you when you are suffering your relatives will refuse you your friends will refuse you but this one friend jesus christ the savior will always be with you we have seen situations people have gone into problems and the people whom they called their best friends deny them because people do not want to associate themselves with anything of trouble for example today you have friends they are flocking around you because you have a job you are getting money you are able to take them out you are able to sponsor them for a party but one day when you wake up and they have terminated you from that job the one who used to call you the best friend the one who would say where are you go i will be there whether i in the trouble or in the pain will be the first to run away and deny you they will say i don't know that person they will not even want to associate with you in any way even when you try to go to their homes when you call their phones they will not receive your phone call when you say now since they have refused to receive my phone call let me go and check them at their homes they will lock the gate and tell the gateman tell him we are not around because they feel you are going to be a burden to them but jesus will never call you a burden he will always be there to support you he will be there to uplift you so accept and follow him as the only savior because there is no other savior your wife can never save you your money can never save you We have seen men the ones who are so called rich but their money can't save them they go to the hospitals there they hire all the best professionals in the world to try to save their lives but if the lord has said no this is your time they cannot save you they will just look at you The only thing they will tell you brother make a will write your will write the will because now they know you are going there is no other thing there is nothing they can do for you you are gone but it is only lord jesus christ 
who can rescue you from a sick bed. He can pull you out from that chronic illness that has tormented you for years. That is only if you accept to follow him as your personal savior. Hallelujah. It is him only. The woman who bled for 12 years accepted him and said, it's only Jesus Christ who can heal me from this sickness. And went, touched the cloth, and she got her healing. But Myers cried unto the Lord Jesus, said, I will not leave this place until I have seen. When I am seeing, I will, then is when I will leave this place. And he received his sight. So it's only Jesus Christ who can redeem you from that suffering. Acts chapter 4 verses 12 says, neither is there salvation in any other. You cannot receive salvation through any other name apart from Jesus Christ. You cannot be saved with any other name that you are going to be saved through Muhammad. You are going to be saved through whatever other names that you know. You can never. You only can be saved through one name. Hallelujah. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. My brother, sister, don't be deceived. There is no other man who has the right to save people. Somebody was there arguing in Kenya that is Jesus. My friend, there is no other name here on earth and in heaven that can be used to save people. Nothing. Meaning they, on the day of judgment, it's only the name Jesus Christ that can be used for salvation, for saving people in the kingdom. So don't be deceived. Don't allow the worldly things to de deceive you. Don't allow money to deceive you. Don't allow riches to deceive you. Don't allow relatives to deceive you. Don't allow your husband to deceive you. Don't allow your friends to deceive you. There is no other name. No other person to save anyone. On the earth and in heaven. It is only Jesus Christ. So don't be deceived. Don't pretend. In our clan, we are only supposed to worship Buddha. So you accept to be deceived by the clan. Open your eyes and see light and get to know that you are heading to doom because that Buddha will never save you. That Buddha that you are worshipping now will never even come and be near you and say that he, this one was worshipping me. No. There is a country where I am told even people have over a thousand gods to worship. There is only one God. That is the Lord Almighty. And that is through his son, Jesus Christ. There is no other God. Stop gathering all of kinds of gods. And you think those are the gods that will save you. You are only wasting time. The day when the Lord will return. He will tell you, I don't know you. Go you 
to the lake of fire. For you refused me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hebrews. Let's look at Hebrews. Chapter 7. Verses 25. It says. Wherefore. He is able also to save them. To the uttermost. That come unto God by him. Seeing he is ever liveth. Seeing he ever liveth. To make intercessions for them. Hallelujah. That we shall be able to be saved. That we shall be able to meet the Lord. Through Jesus Christ. Who is alive and is there all the time. Interceding for us. He's pleading to the Lord. To his father says. Forgive this child. He is just the flesh. He doesn't know what he's doing. Forgive him. Please do not destroy. He says he is interceding for us. That's what the Lord Jesus Christ does. What, how often can your God that you are worshipping, that Buddha you are worshipping, that cow you are worshipping, when is it interceding for you? That Muhammad you are worshipping, when is he interceding for you? He says, it's only Jesus Christ who will be there interceding, crying unto the Father, begging for the Father to have mercy upon his children. Wake up. We should all wake up. And get to know, let's follow the right path. Accept the Lord Jesus Christ. That he's the only savior. He's your personal savior. He's the one who will redeem you. Because he's there always interceding for us. All the time, he's crying to the father. Have mercy. Forgive this. Praise the Lord. That cow there cannot intercede for you. You have made something out of cement. And you are busy bowing down before cement. Which is used to build houses. Sun. With the metals. Those are the ones you are bowing down. That you are worshipping God. My friend. You are heading into destruction. You are going to doom. Wake up. And stop being deceived. Turn from your evil ways. And accept the Lord Jesus Christ. As your personal savior. Because he's the one. Who is going to redeem you out. From those. Sins that we commit. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's look at First Timothy. Chapter 1. Verses 15. Says. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptance. Ac acceptation. It is a worthy saying and all must accept. Everyone should believe that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. Hallelujah. This is Paul writing to Timothy. He said, everyone must know that Jesus is the only Lord and Savior of our sins. And all of us are sinners. He said, I am the chief witness. Paul telling Timothy, I know about this. And we are all sinners. So we only need to repent. We are in the last days. The Lord is about to return. What kind of church is he going to take? Are you going to be among those that he will take to see his father? Or you will be among the sheep, I mean uh, the goats that will be thrown into the lake of fire. Stop pretending. 
There are others who pretend to know the Bible more. But are not accepting their hearts that the Lord Jesus Christ is their personal savior. You are only wasting time. For the day is coming when every man will stand before him and defend yourself. The Bible says that time it will be crying and gnashing of the teeth for those who refuse to believe. You are deceived by all kinds of provisions that they are putting in to the world now. You are deceived by technology. And somebody tells you, no, there is no God. We were, we were created by the Big Bang Theory. You are talking of Big Bang Theory. And you also accept and believe in the Big Bang Theory. My friend, you are heading for destruction. Wake up from that dream. Wake up from the slumber. Wake up from that deep sleep that you are into. And follow the Lord Jesus Christ. For he is the only redeemer. He is all, the only savior that we have. And he never be deceived. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's look at Romans. Let's look at Romans because of time. Romans chapter 5. We can read verses 10. Romans 5.10 says, For if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. When we were sinners, Jesus Christ came and died for our sins. That death of Jesus Christ was the one that brought us back to the Lord. Remember, we had been separated from the Lord. We had been separated from the Lord. We were heading to destruction. But Jesus accepted to leave his throne, to leave all of his honors, to leave the angels that were worshipping him and came down to the earth here and lived an ordinary life because he wanted to redeem, to rescue, to save mankind that had sinned and accepted to die on the cross when he had no sin. When he accepted to die on the cross, he redeemed us. He reconnected us back to the love of God. That's why today we are able to stand and speak about God's blessings, God's favor. Because Jesus Christ connected us back to God. So we must wake up, accept to follow the Lord Jesus Christ as your savior, the one who is there to always guide you. Hallelujah. Let's look at the book of Colossians chapter 1 verses 13 to 14. It says, Who has delivered us from the power of darkness? And has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. In whom we have redemption through his blood. Even the forgiveness of sins. Hallelujah. Our sins can only be forgiven through Jesus Christ. There is no other route for forgiveness of the sins. Remember the Bible says in Romans 8. That all have sinned and fallen short of the glory. We are all sinners. So there is no other name. There is no other way that we, our sins can be forgiven. You cannot pass through any other door. You cannot go through a brother for your sins to be forgiven. 
you cannot go through your clan for your sins to be forgiven they you cannot use your father however much your father is the most powerful in Uganda in the world he cannot rescue you it's only Jesus Christ who can be able to forgive sins it's through him that the lord can be able to forgive our sins he's our redeemer only and nothing else so we must wake up accept to return to the lord come and follow the lord jesus christ stop following what you do not know what cannot even redeem you hallelujah praise the lord as i conclude as i conclude let me read the book of uh let's look at the book of hosea uh, chapter 7 verses 20 no chapter 13 verses 14 hosea 13 14 says means 13 4 let's read 13 4 says yet i am the lord thy god from the land of egypt and thou shalt know no God but me, for there is no savior besides. There is only one God. Stop thinking of worshiping any other God. There is only one God. And if you want to be redeemed, it's by accepting that one God. And that is the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no other God to redeem you. God is God. The Lord Jesus Christ is Lord Jesus Christ, nothing else. He's the only Savior. Never be deceived. So let's return back to the Lord. Live all the, your ways, the path that you have been following. Leave them and return back to the Lord. For he's the one who will redeem you. He's the one who intercedes for us. He's the one who provides for us. He's the one who protects us. He's the one who guides us. Not your brother, not sister, not relative, not friend, not any other person. Return back. Turn from your ways. Turn away from your evil ways and return to the Lord Jesus Christ. Accept to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Because he is our Redeemer. He is our Savior. Thank you. God bless you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, King of glory, creator of the universe, Abba Father, Emmanuel, our Redeemer, our Savior, our Healer, thank you for today. Thank you for the message. Thank you for the opportunity that we have had your word, Lord Almighty. King of glory, may you help us that we shall turn from our evil ways, that we shall accept the Lord Jesus Christ as our personal saviors, that we shall worship you all the days of life, Lord Jesus. King of glory, plant this word in the hearts of your people, that this word will be able to build. Let these seeds fall on the fertile soils that your children will turn away from their evil ways for, your, for the glory of your name. Thank you, Almighty. We rebuke all principalities, birds that come and scoop away this word. Be bound. All of principalities, darkness, be bound. Wickedness of the enemies that are be bound. We destroy your plans against the word of God. Be broken, be burned. Demons that destroy the network. Be broken, be burnt. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, King of Glory. Continue to bless your people. That they will continue listening and watching your word. For the glory of your name. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you.